What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games or Big Zach Novak. Sorry about the week and a bit hiatus. I haven't actually been uploading. Really just haven't actually gone through and edited videos. Really just haven't had the motivation. I do apologize to you guys because I do know a lot of you people do actually watch my videos because you do kind of enjoy them and I do really feel bad about that. So starting today I'm going to change things up I usually say I'm going to change things up and don't change things up, but I did actually get a light in the mail today, so this actually is going to make things a lot easier when I'm recording webcam and facecam and all that good stuff, but more videos are on the way, so stay tuned for those. But anyway, we got Zor's location and inventory for the weekend, roll the intros as catering to it, and I do hope you certainly enjoy. All righty, getting straight into the video. We are on Watcher's Grave on Nessus, or in Watcher's Grave on Nessus, and Zora is chilling in the tree. Let's go see if the technical bastard has anything good. Fingers crossed it's something good this week. Also, again, apologies for not actually uploading videos for like yeah, the last week and a half. Just things for me really haven't been the greatest. I will actually start changing things up. As I did state, more videos are coming, but what do we got, Zor? Fingers crossed. Okay, this week isn't horrible it actually isn't too bad so let's start things out with the armamentarian for the titans d1 exotic gone into d2 that is pretty freaking op 23 legendary shards for this very unique i guess or op however the way you want to look at it exotic main perk being and another thing gain an additional grenade charge this thing yeah you gain an additional grenade charge pretty freaking awesome you already can on your titan but having the ability to actually you know have it versatile on all three flavors of the subclass is pretty freaking cool secondary perks we've got unflinching bow we've got unflinching fusion rifle aim and unflinching kinetic aim we've also got scout rifle reserves and special ammo finder once again 23 legendary shards pick this up if you have not got it but moving on next up we've got the karnstein armlets or karnstein armlets for the warlock because the Warlocks are cool. 23 legendary shards for this very OP exotic, with the main perk being Vampire's Caress. Melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. This thing in itself is amazing and OP, and I honestly love this thing. I've fallen back in love with it. I've just switched out from transversive steps to this thing in the last week and I've just really been enjoying myself. Secondary perks on it are Fusion Rifle Loader, we got Hand Cannon Loader and Impact Induction, as well as Sniper Rifle Scavenger and Heavy Machine Gun Scavenger, which this thing in itself is honestly a really nice perk being on these gauntlets. I definitely am actually going to go through and pick these up because I really like those rolls on those gauntlets. So yeah, just pretty much Zor has some good rolls sometimes. But anyway, 23 legendary shards, as you can see I bought it Moving on next up, we've got the young Ahamkara's Spine. 23 legendary shards for this D1 exotic brought up into D2 as well, which is also kind of cool. Its main perk being Wish Dragon Teeth. Increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius. Ability damage grants trip mine grenade energy. So this thing in itself is honestly pretty beastly. I will actually state, I honestly like this thing. And it's always been as OP as it always has, although they did nerf it slightly and it's not as OP as it was in D1, but still very OP in D2. Picked up if you're not good at secondary perks on it are Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, and Impact Induction, as well as Sniper Rifle Scavenger and Heavy Machine Gun Scavenger. Oh sweet. Once again, 23 legendary shards, but finally moving on to the weapon of the week. We've got the Risk Runner. 29 legendary shards for this... Exotic you can actually unlock during the game of Destiny 2, so yeah, if you guys didn't actually get it in the base game, maybe start a new character or buy it from Zora if you want to just get it on whatever character you are actually running. Its main perk is actually being Arc Conductor. When taking Arc Damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming Arc Damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state. So in other words, you can keep firing pretty much and keep getting kills. Oh yes, I forgot to mention its second perk, which also is Super Conductor. When Arc Conductor is active, shots fired have a chance to become Chain Lightning and return ammo. So yeah, you can have unlimited ammo and explosions, which is cool. It's lightning. It's awesome. Pick it up if you've not got it. 29 Legendary Shards. Moving on though to the consumables of the week, we've got the Five of Swords. 
always with the Five of Swords. Zor, I'm really hoping that you're going to actually have, you know, changes. Oh wait, that's right, in the Bungie actual update, they did actually state there was changes for Zor coming in the future. So looking forward to that. Pick up the Five of Swords challenge card if you want to make your Nightfalls more challenging to add challenging modifiers to your already challenging Nightfalls to make that challenging Nightfall more challenging. It's fun. And finally, we've also got the Isochromic Engram, or Isochronal Engram, also known as a Fated Engram. 97 Legendary Shards, only going to decrypt into a Year 1. Oh, I don't know why I went, well, that was, that was weird. I'm going to say Year 1. Only going to decrypt into, well, a base Destiny 2 and Warmind type of Engram. Nothing from the actual DLC available at the moment, but in the future, hopefully, things do actually change. However, fingers crossed, what do we actually get? It is 97 Legendary Shards. Give us something good, a bit of armor that actually has some good rolls. We got a tractor cannon. Well, tractor cannon isn't horrible. I actually kind of like the tractor cannon. I've got one on me, but it's actually a lot lower than that one. So yeah, hey, look, I can infuse that finally or do whatever. I got a tractor cannon. Cool. Anyway, this has been Zach Novak. This has been Zor's location and inventory for the weekend. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Apologies once again for not actually having videos up. They will start coming back. A video should be coming up a little bit later today, which would like to be the update video, which should have gone up about a week ago. But, you know, my thoughts and ideas from even that point in time is still thoughts and ideas. So, hopefully you guys did find that relevant. Hopefully you guys do still find Zor relevant. If you guys did actually enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, do all the good stuff. And I'll be Sharon like Garen over. He was in Sharon. But until next time, this is Zach Novak, signing off. Peace out.